Thank you, Nathan. It's uh, lovely to be here again. And if you missed it earlier, we are here um, also collecting for the Reverse Ret charity, uh, something very close to your heart, I believe, David. No, that, that, that's, uh, that's right, Nathan, yes. Uh. So we have in front of us Cam Shaw, unbeaten from York, and we have Nabil Ahmed. Now, Cam, I've watched Box twice before, and he is very slick. Um, he's hall based he's trained by Billy Dawson and he's managed by Glenn Banks sorry I'm looking at my notes to making sure I can't even read my own handwriting um, he was actually the amateur boxing Yorkshire champ twice and he uh, he boxed for the English as well as an amateur so very good amateur pedigree but you can see that straight away look very comfortable taking the centre of the ring yeah, very, very slick, you know, uh, but, but also quite measured in his approach. You know. I mean, they call him the kid, but looks a little bit like a smaller Golovkin. What do you reckon? No, he's, uh, you know, he's, domin he's, he's dominating the ring, just picking off his opponent at will. But he's just, you know, but, but it's, there's a calmness to his work. Yeah, very relaxed. Referee's not too close, look, he's not worried about anything. Very clean, very tidy. Some very nice boots. <laughs> uh, interesting fact for you here. Yeah, Cam actually makes all his own shorts for himself and for his friends. Saves him a few quid and they look good. Like a true Yorkshireman. Yeah. So this is a featherweight bout, four three minute rounds. It's his uh, fourth nice, nice shot. There. Nice shot, nice left up. It's his fourth fight as a professional, and he's just, uh, he's been busy. I think it's his fourth professional fight within a year. His uh, debut was on the IBO, well, uh, IBO women's world title fight at uh, the Magna, Man was it the Magna Center? I think it was the Magna Center in Rotherham. Ryan Rhodes and Steffi Ball promotion. Very relaxed, taking the centre of the ring, popping the jab out. So he's just got caught again with the right hand this time. Nice jab. Nabil fancies it though. Throwing, oh, lovely left up from Nabil. Might, might have woken Cam up. Oh, and again with the right hand there. And a left. And a left again. I've There's got to say, there. I'm shocked. Took some needless shots. <laughs> he's took, took some big shots. But if you look how many he's landing all the time, constantly busy. Nice. Busy with them straight shots. Look straight away. Elbows in, chin down. Nabil certainly throw in with some meaning. Come here today to win, which is nice to see because sometimes you get the away corner. And they go through the motions. Lovely left up to the body there by Cam. And again, left up to the body. Anybody watching on here today, feel free to step in. Correct me if I'm wrong. Ask away. Ooh. Share the stream. Lovely left up to the body again. Finding it, finding that left up to the body every time, Cam. But Nabil counting with that right hand every time. How are you seeing it so far, David? He's, uh, I mean, Cam, Cam, Cam's dominant and he's he's clearly winning the fight, but he's getting caught. The eye-catching shots are coming from Nabil. However, the work rate is coming from Cam. I mean, I'm surprised at the end of the first that he wasn't getting a... Uh, his coaches weren't giving him what for. Yeah, I think that they're confident in their fighter and he's done better this round, not getting hit so much. He has been caught a little bit, but not getting caught half as much as that at the end of that first round. But again, it's a four-round fight. Both lads are going to come in quite quick, quite fresh. It does take a round to sink in, maybe two sometimes. But as I said, I think Cam is ahead for me. 
unless you've been blindsided by a couple of eye-catching shots. No, yes, no, I totally, I totally agree with you. Look, dominant with that jab. He's definitely the smaller fighter. I'm not sure if they're the same weight or not. But a nice left-right from Nabil. You know, from your own professional uh, career, how did, how did you take to this sort of fight? Well, you know, we, we're a few, if a few big shots got thrown. Well, the thing is, uh, you know, sometimes you're in the home corner, the pressure's all on you sometimes. And for me, when I'm getting bashed about a little bit, sometimes it wakes me up. But if it doesn't, the crowd certainly do. Um, nice need to, shot there. I'd like to there see the camp. crowd behind Cam a little bit more. It's a little bit quiet early in the night. Lovely body shot there, straight right into the body from Cam. Very, very well executed. They are fast, snappy shots. They're clean. <laughs> and he's in the centre of the ring again. Look, nice left, right. Two nice right hand overs there. He's been busy all year, Cam. You know, squished three fights in quite close. And this is his fourth. That was an easy 10 9 round for me to Cam. Yeah, I mean, I've got Wesley Burton here on uh, the media stream asking where we're at. This is on at Hull City at the... KCOM Stadium. I will get that at some point. I keep wanting to say K-Dot. KCOM Stadium, Hull City, football ground. Um, this is the first fight. I suspect we'll be here till about half ten, quarter to eleven. How are you guys scoring this fight? I think for me it's two rounds up to Cam. First round towards the end, Nabil clapped him with some lovely shots, but Cam's come back from that. He's not let it phase him. That's a sign of a classy professional. And he's doing what he does best. We're now going to start to see towards the third and fourth round whether those body shots are starting to take any effect. Because it'd be so lovely left ups to the body from Cam. I've noticed a little bit when Nabil's trying to get th throw towards uh, Cam. Cam's standing that just a little bit away from him. You know. Well, where... the difference is Nabil feels like the stronger fighter physically, um, so he's looking for that one punch, that that big counter. And he's, you know, but Cam's controlling the pace of the fight. Look at that. He's got his, he's got his bearings now, Cam. Look at that head movement there. He's, he's ducked a shot, slipped a shot and landed a shot. So, for me, I think maybe it's just a case of he might have had some pasta earlier and it's just gone down and he's warmed up. <laughs> much, much better head movement. Oh, lovely right hand landed there by Cam. Just nice after receiving nice a jab. There. Nice shot to the body as well. Nabil piling on the pressure, keeps pushing forward now in the third round. But Cam meeting it for me. And some. But, but also, it's, it's nice to see a fight where there's nothing worse than, you know, the first fight on one of these shows. Oh, Nabil coming forward with some strong hooks. Cam caught them on the glove, luckily. Just before that little bit of uh, action. There's nothing worse than you're watching a fight and it's almost like a glorified sparring session. At least the lads are getting both getting stuck. Yeah, in. exactly that. Like Nabil fancies it. He, he just, I think he feels like he can change the fight with a punch. Cam switched on. But, you know, I wouldn't say relaxed. But I'd say comfortable, confident. Very orthodox stance, like elbows in, chin down. And he's got that look. He's made him miss half a step back. Yeah. He's got that. He's got that measure now. Look. Well, I suppose some of that comes with experience. You know, he, he, what's this? He's uh, Cam's fourth fight. It is about. Oh, like, it's about like, and that's nice that shot. experience. Did you see that? He's leant over, and he's even though we've seen the bill lean back, Cam's read that and come over with a downward right hand. That's where that amateur pedigree comes in. Whoa, oh, straight nice right hand. Sneaky as you like, fast as lightning, that. And the jab. Those jabs are annoying him now. See, now Nubio should be leaning, shoving him back with his shoulder and bullying him a bit. He should really be greasing him up. But instead, he's trying to, 
is, is like giving Cam that bit of distance to work. I would say that was probably Cam's best round of the fight so far. Yeah, we're starting to see now. Cam's got a, the measure of Nabil. Nabil is still dangerous at times, but that was by far the most clean cut round so far. We're starting to see that head movement, distance, range, snap. No, it's, uh, but he's, he's, he's way in front. Nabil needs to start to be throwing. We can see Billy Dawson in the corner, the trainer there. Um, doesn't look, doesn't look anything other than constructive. There's, no, there's nothing negative being said. Just good, clean information. And Cam, if you notice, got his eyes on him, only listening to his trainer. So, you know, for those of you that are looking to get into boxing, if you get in that corner, don't waste your energy talking. Be a sponge, listen, recover. I think, I predict now, Nabil will start to throw some really big shots. He's and gonna, Cam will start to throw four, five and six punch combinations. He's going to leave himself vulnerable to getting caught. If We've seen Cam getting stronger and faster each round. But will we see Nabil land a really big shot? Oh. Again, experience there. Cam's used his arm to block that counter there. Lovely right hand. Are you going for the body as well? This is all trying to soften that, him up. I feel Nabil was competitive the first two rounds, um, more so the first. But as the rounds have gone on, I feel that Nabil's faded, whereas Cam's upped it. Nice right hand to the body. It's one of those fights where if it's the sixth rounder, they're, 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 it's to be getting stopped in the fifth or the sixth. Well, I mean, Nabil is certainly not as sharp now, not as fast. But I feel like he has got dangerous hands. But I think Cam, Cam's out manoeuvring him and taking that confidence away now. Every, see, every time Cam throws that over, over, right hand over the top, he's catching him every time. And he's so busy with the jab, he's stopping him in his tracks. I mean, for me, it's either 40-36 to Cam or 47. They may have given Nabil a share of the first round, but for me, I think Cam's, Cam's not lost the point here. I think he's done really well. You can't, you, you can't really uh, give a round somebody for uh, a flurry of punches in the last 20 seconds of the round. Exactly. But we're seeing that fitness come through for Kid. Busy all the time, busy all the time. Doesn't take time out. Fit to throw. Still stuck. Nice, nice that right hand. hand again. Nice cheeky use of the elbow as well. That's a lovely jab. Nabil on his way in, and again, Cam stopped his tracks with a nice jab. Clean jab again through the guard. He'll have a sore nose in the morning. Oh, nice shot to the body as well. The referee saying that was a bit low, but Nabil's shorts are quite high. That, that was no only low blow for me. Nice left up landed by Nabil. Oh, lovely jab, one, two, one. And also nice to see the referee's not had to get involved too much. Oh, nice. right on the bell there. Cheeky left, 